بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله الحمد لله وكفى وسلام على عباده الذين اصطفى أما بعد respected brothers and sisters all praise belongs to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who has given us the opportunity to start our day with the masjid with the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and given us the opportunity to be amongst the fortunate individuals we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to accept our efforts to come to the masjid coming to the masjid we ask Allah to accept our efforts of doing ibadah we ask Allah Azza wa Jal to forgive our shortcomings and we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to descend and to give us all the blessings of this day and to protect us from all types of evil. Ameen Ya Rabbal Alameen. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam describing the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala synonymously connecting it to that type of individual who possess a quality which is required for every, every believer to earn. In yesterday's session, we, talk about, we talked about that having to be able to increase your faith and to be connected with the house of Allah, it's a sign of our faith. As Allah talks about those people who frequent the house of Allah, who do the building of the house of Allah are the people of Iman and are the people of good characters and good actions. In the hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Abu Darda radiyallahu anhu says, Rasul alayhi salatu wa salam said, Al-Masjidu baytu kulli taqiyin. That masjid is a house of every muttaqi. Who is a muttaqi? Muttaqi is a person who has made a decision to live the life on the obedience of Allah and to stay away from the disobedience of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ali bin Abi Talib radiallahu anhu says that taqwa is found in three things. They are the three signs of taqwa. Number one is al-khawfu min al-jaleel. Is to have the fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in your heart. That Allah Azza wa Jal, I have to obey and fulfill and, 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 and trying to do whatever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has told me to do. To prepare for the life that is going to come in the future. That is part of taqwa. And number three, وَلَعَمَلُ بِالْتَنزِيلِ Is to practice and to obey every commandment that has been revealed by Allah Azza wa Jal. If a person has done these three things, then indeed he has in the, came in the categories of taqwa. And masjid becomes a source of developing all of these three things in the life of a person. This is why Rasul alayhi salatu was salam said, Al-Masjidu baytu kulli taqiyin. The masjid is a house of every person who has taqwa in his life. And whoever, وَمَنْ تَكَفَّلَ Whoever considers the masjid as his own house, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grants him three gifts. Whoever makes masjid as his own house, that this is my house. No matter what happens, I end up going to my house in every condition and every scenario. If I have a dispute with someone in my family, I'm still going to go back to my house. If I don't like the way certain things are done, I'm still going to go to my house. If I don't like the dish that is cooked, I'm still going to go to my house. So Nabi alayhi salatu was salam said, whoever makes masjid as their house, then Allah grants them three gifts. Number one is, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala takes care of the difficulties of this life for him. Birrawha. Peace and tranquility comes into his life. Warrahmah. Allah Azza wa Jal descends mercy upon this individual throughout his life in this dunya and when he departs. Wasirat. Allah's Rasul said, 
that Allah Azza wa Jal will make this action as a source of his salvation that will take him from the bridge of Sirat and eventually give him the entrance of paradise. This is for that individual who has made the masjid as his own house. Consider it to be as part of him. So this is a very, very great opportunity that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has provided us. That Allah azza wa jal gave us the opportunity to come to his house. And Allah gave, gives us the opportunity to frequent his house. These are all from the rahmat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Remember, if a person stops coming to the house of Allah and he can have the 1,000 excuses of the world is because of this, because of this, because of this, because none of that matter is that Allah took the invitation away from him. Because everyone that comes to the house of Allah, he has been invited by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You have been invited for this purpose. You have been sent an invitation and you accept that invitation and Allah gives you the opportunity to come. If a person is not able to come, then he can have a thousand reasons of the world, but at the end of the day, that invitation was not sent. So it's not the fault of anyone else, it's rather my own fault. That I wasn't invited by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So each time when we come to the house of Allah, feel proud in our hearts. That I'm going to the house of Allah because Allah has invited me. I'm going to the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala due to the reason that Allah azza wa jal has selected me to part, become part of one of the dealers of his house. One of the people of his house. This is a very fortunate um, glad tiding, very fortunate uh, opportunity to be in. We ask Allah azza wa jal to grant us the true understanding and, the, and, and give us the ability to value it from our hearts. And we ask Allah Azza wa Jal to accept our efforts. Amin ya Rabbil Alameen. Jazakumullahu khairan. Subhanallahi wa bihamdi. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdik wa nashidu wa la 